Hi, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Bread. We're in front of St. Cecilia's Church in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Now, this area may seem very residential, but we managed to uncover some hidden treasures in this neighborhood as far as restaurants go. Speaking of hidden treasures, this church is one of the hidden treasures of our diocese. Unlike some of the other churches that are located on very busy streets, this church is located in a very quiet neighborhood. And what makes this church so unique is the beautiful limestone that was used to construct this church. Very similar to the limestone used to construct St. Patrick's Cathedral in Manhattan. Sounds impressive, but we're also going to check out a restaurant that's very impressive as well. Wait till you check this place out. It's relatively new, but it feels like it's been around for a long, long time. Let's go. Right? How long ago did you take the place over? I would say about like five, six months. So what made you want to go into business for yourself? Well, I I learn, I have a little experience, and uh, what it is is that I have been working for other people, which is nothing wrong, very right. good. And uh, well, uh, I want to do something for myself, I want to improve, I want to make the American dream. That's right, the American dream, okay. Yeah. How did you find out about this place? Did you, are you from the area? Are you from Brooklyn? No, actually a friend of mine who told me that he's the one who supplies most of the places okay. and then the restaurants and uh, he's the one who told me. So I come over and I take a look and I say, this looks nice to me. What is your busiest time of day here? Because yeah. I know how a diner is, it can be... Most of the times we're busy pretty much in the morning. When morning. I would say 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock to... 11, 12, 2 o'clock. People love breakfast, right? Very much. Okay, you can get breakfast any time of the day here, right? Any time. That's the difference between diners and in, in another place. Right. Diners, we do breakfast all the time, yes. So it doesn't matter what time of day I come to a diner, whether it's 12 noon or 12 midnight, I love breakfast food. So what's your most popular omelet with the people who work here? The most popular, what is the most popular omelet we have Western. here? Western. Western omelet. Make me a Western. Western omelet work. So the Western omelet is the most popular here amongst everybody who works here. So I figured I want to learn how to make it too. So Robert is going to teach me. So first thing. Peppers. Peppers. Onions. Same amount. Same amount. Okay. And the chopped ham. Okay. Okay, we chop the ham. And then we put the ham. In the bowl. Yes. All right. And then we need two eggs. Two eggs. Two eggs. Break it. Mm -hmm. One. Two. And then we mix it up. Let me mix it up. Okay. You how do want you me do to it? show? Yeah, you show, show me how to do, do it. it. This way. Uh -huh. Hold the two forks. At the same time, you mix it like this. Okay. Scramble. Easy. Easy. Do you put the salt and pepper in now or no. do you wait? No. Usually you wouldn't put it. We let it uh, customers that put it some. Okay. So, so now know. off next to the grill, right? Next to the grill. Head yeah. over there. Before you put it into the grill, you have to put a little margarine. A little margarine. So you can cook. And then you can do There you go. Okay. And then basically we wait for we'll the for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, right. and we turn flip to the other over. side, flip it okay. over, and we wait, wait another 30 seconds, and we're ready to serve. Okay. Now, the thing I like about your menu is if someone doesn't want all that cholesterol, they can get it with egg whites and egg beaters, We do right? also egg whites, we do a whole wheat bread, we do right. it what the, the Whatever really... the customer likes, right? Yes. Well, then what is this served with? When uh, potatoes, usually potatoes. we put french fries, home fries, grapes. Grapes. Oh, some people, they like oatmeal. Uh, oatmeal. So, okay, so Healthy. you can pick and choose. Just wait another 30 seconds, 45 seconds. more seconds. And then we have the new chef. The new chef? Yeah. Am I hired? Yes. Okay. 
Part time, no part time. <laughs> part time. Part time. Okay, fair enough. The potatoes we have it right here. So we put, I would say, half of this amount. Let me show you how. Put that in. And we wait for so the potatoes get cooked. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this again. Yeah, that's I like flip my it again. eggs. Well done in both sides. See, I like golden brown. Well done. Well no done. No runniness for me. Yeah, okay. Just a little bit. And then it's ready to serve it. Okay, so you guys grab one of the dishes. Okay, let's get the eggs first. Usually we do the opposite. First the oh, potatoes. The potatoes. And then the eggs. Okay. But Good hey. Again. I'm not picky. Most popular omelet in the restaurant, so let's break bread. I like coming over here to hear the soup especially. It's very, very special to me. I really like it here because of his attitude towards people, how he treats customers. I come here every day because I get to order eggs and eat wonderful food with a beautiful waitress. It's one of the best rice puddings that I ever tasted at any diner or any restaurant that I've been to. I've been in this neighborhood all my life, and I would say that this is the best place if you want. All the food is good, but if you want soup, this is the place that I recommend. So as you can see, at New Daniela's, you can always stop by and grab a bite to eat, no matter what time of the day it is. Because hunger can strike at any time, right? So write down the information on your screen so when you're in the neighborhood, you can stop by and break bread too. So I'm going to get started. You know how I do it.